seven 2024 fashion trends that I will be skipping and seven that I will be wearing instead of the seven that I will be skipping. So please leave me a comment down below and let me know of the seven that I'm definitely not gonna wear this year. Let me know if you are gonna wear those seven fashion trends and also let me know which ones you'll be skipping because like I always say, you shouldn't wear every single fashion trend that's out there. Like of course not, you should only pick like one or two that make you feel really good and like the best most confident version of yourself and those are the trends that you should wear in 2024 please listen to this entire video because the last trend is definitely one that I know a lot of women love I know that my mom in particular actually loves this type of style and she kind of made me like dress like this when I was a little girl. So maybe that's why I have such a pushback on it and I was really surprised to see that it was a big trend in 2024. But it is one that I will be skipping. Why? Because I don't know, I just don't like it and I just don't feel like the best version of myself when I wear it. So without further ado, let's get started. Trend number one that is huge in 2024 are large tote bags. Yes, if you're a person who loves big handbags, well guess what? This is a good time for you because the big large tote bag is coming back in style. And I will say this is one I will be skipping. Now of course if I'm going to the airport, I have a large black YSL tote that I love that when I'm traveling I will carry this as my travel bag. But as far as a large handbag to carry like during the day or in the evening, I will be skipping that trend because Large handbags hurt my back because of course I put more stuff in there if the handbag is big. So I'm not gonna be carrying large handbags. Plus, honestly, I think they can look a bit frumpy. If I'm just being honest, you may disagree with me and that's okay. If you do, again, leave me a comment down below because I always love hearing from you guys. But instead of the large handbag, I will still be carrying my small crossbody bags. And one of my favorite crossbody bags is this beautiful Songmont brown leather handbag. It does come in several different colors and it even comes in a slightly larger size of this handbag silhouette, if you will, in case this one is too small for you. But I can fit my iPhone, my lipstick, my car key and you know a small wallet and honestly what else does a girl need and hi dolce she's my new little shih tzu behind me she's playful so sorry for her photo bombing the video but i'm pretty sure you guys won't mind she is a doll but this is a great bag i especially love the gold chain detailing i think it adds a bit of elegance and edge to all of my looks and so i'm really loving this gorgeous chocolate brown handbag by sogmont this year I paired it with this really cool camel leather oversized bomber jacket. You guys, this is such a cool jacket and bomber jackets are another trend that we're seeing in 2024. And that's one I won't be skipping. I will be wearing that because I absolutely love bomber jackets. I feel cool when I wear them. I feel classy, I feel elegant, and I definitely feel confident. This is a great jacket. It's a beautiful camel color. And I always say that camel is one of the most expensive looking color combinations in the best part ladies this beautiful leather jacket is on crazy sale right now so this is really making it a great price for a real leather jacket i paired it with my all-time favorite skyscraper jeans these are from express they are a mid-rise with the floor skimming hemline so they're extremely flattering and extremely slimming they're honestly like 50 dollars and when i tell you these 50 dollar jeans fit like designer denim like seriously they fit like some legence flares that i have but they're a fraction of the price and then to tie everything together i went with a leopard pump Okay, trend number two that I will be skipping is the oversized blazers and oversized pants, basically like oversized paired with oversized. Like that's just like a baggy trend that I'm not loving. It was on trend in 2023 and it's definitely gonna be holding strong in 2024 and I'm just over it. I won't be wearing the baggy on baggy you know, trend anymore. And actually I never really wore it because it's just not flattering on me. I'm five foot four. I'm pretty much more of a petite woman. So anytime I wear these big oversized clothes, they just end up overtaking my silhouette. And I just always feel kind of frumpy. So I will be ditching that trend. 
and instead I will be wearing fitted jackets, fitted shirts, and maybe some baggy denim or straight leg denim. But if I'm gonna wear baggy or straight leg denim, I'm gonna make sure that the top portion of my body, my jacket and my top are fitted. And what this will do, ladies, is it will create balance in your look. So this is a beautiful beige, faux fur jacket by blank nyc it's like a beautiful tan shade i love the fact that it's a bit shorter this kind of reminds me of the ever so popular mob wife trend have you heard about that trend it's really cool basically it's like anything paired with an oversized faux fur jacket is very much like mob wife vibes so let me know if you would like me to do an entire video on the mob wife trend because you know me if you've been watching my videos for a while i absolutely love wearing faux fur so this is a faux fur jacket again by Blank NYC. The price point is amazing. It's like $100. So what a steal for such a cool jacket. I paired it with a simple ivory long sleeve bodysuit. And then these are some jeans by Mother. They're called the Tomcat. They are a high-waisted straight leg denim silhouette, but they are slightly tapered at the ankles, which I think makes them very slimming. And I did pair them with some easy kitten heel ivory pointy toe boots, because like I always say, anything with a pointy toe is always gonna make your legs look longer and you look taller and slimmer. In fact, I just did a video on like seven easy style tips on how to look taller and slimmer. And so I will be sure and link that one down below as well. Now, instead of wearing a long trench coat, because I do think that long trench coats sort of swallow up my silhouette, what I will be wearing in 2024 is cropped trench coats. I love a good cropped trench. I think they're classy and sophisticated. And this navy blue cropped trench, you guys, is out of this world. It is so classy, so timeless and versatile. I've only had it like for like maybe two weeks and I've already worn it like five different ways. But today I am wearing it with this gray bodysuit, these black ankled E. Riley's. This is another high-waisted straight leg jean with a tapered uh, ankle silhouette at the bottom and they pair beautifully over my pointy toe suede Veronica Beard black booties. I also went with a black Chanel belt um, I really love navy and black together. That's sort of a misnomer that you can't wear that color combination together, but honestly, navy and black is a very beautiful and luxe looking color combination. Also, this jacket is wrinkle free and the price point is amazing. All right, the third 2024 fashion trend that I will not be wearing are short shorts with pantyhose. So we are seeing a lot of celebrities and mega influencers and of course, six foot tall models wearing this trend. And I will be skipping this trend because I don't know, it just feels a little too racy to me and I'm just not gonna do that. Instead, I will wear a faux leather mini skirt with pantyhose and knee high boots and a jacket because this is something I feel confident in and this is something I feel very comfortable in, a bit edgy and like myself. I actually have a birthday party on Thursday night to go to for one of my dearest friends, Alice, and a bunch of us girls are going out and I will be wearing this exact outfit. This is definitely the mob wife vibes that I was talking about. So this is an A Gold E faux leather mini skirt. I love this mini skirt. It is a bit on the shorter side, which is why I decided to pair it with my Spanx pantyhose. I love these pantyhose and yes ladies pantyhose are a big trend and they're definitely back in style in 2024 and then i went with these beautiful saint laurent black leather knee high boots and then this is an old faux fur jacket i love it it's cozy it's beautiful it's a gorgeous brown shade and i will be linking one similar down below that i did find on the revolve website that literally looks almost identical to this faux fur jacket Trend number four that I will be skipping are sheer pants or sheer skirts or sheer dresses on the bottom where the like black underwear are showing through. Like I will not be doing this. I think that's a bit too racy for me, a bit too young for me. So I will be skipping this trend. Instead, I will be wearing something sheer on the top but with a jacket over it because that is something I am comfortable wearing and that's something that makes me feel confident. So this is another really cool cropped trench coat. This one is ivory, it is faux leather, it's from Nordstrom, the price point is amazing. And trust me when I say it looks way more expensive than it really is. And honestly, a cropped trench coat is a versatile and timeless jacket that will go a long way in any woman's wardrobe. You can wear it to the office, you could wear it on a date night, you could wear it to church, like literally, 
The possibilities are endless because a trench coat cropped or long is one of the most versatile jackets a woman can own. I paired it over this sheer top from Frame Denim. This is a beautiful sleeveless, sort of like mesh lace sheer top. I love this top because it is a bit sheer, so it has a little bit of an edginess to it. It also is very tastefully sexy. And then I just went with my A Gold E Black Riley jeans. I love these jeans because they are very slimming. You always look taller and slimmer in black denim as well. And they are a high-waisted denim silhouette with a straight leg like I mentioned earlier. Okay, trend number five that I will be skipping is the socks with heels trend. Have you seen this trend? Let me know if you've seen it and let me know if, what you think about it. I honestly will be skipping this trend. Like I said, I just don't like it. It feels a little, I don't know, it kind of looks a little cheesy to me. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm the only one, but again, let me know if you agree. So instead of this trend, I will be wearing my heels with no socks. I will just be wearing my heels with my bare feet, that's it. Or maybe pantyhose. But this look is my heels with no socks or no hose. This is a beautiful camel strapless dress. It is ribbed, it's wrinkle free, it's a beautiful camel shade. It's form fitting, it hugs your curves in all the right places. I actually went to this Laura Geller beauty event last week and this is the exact outfit that I wore and I got so many compliments on it. I topped it off with this faux fur jacket. This is a beautiful ivory. Actually, it may be real fur, so I'm sorry if this offends anyone. I've actually had this jacket for like 10 years, so it's more of like a vintage fur, but I will link a faux fur version down below as well but love this beautiful ivory faux fur jacket. And I think this is definitely giving off mob wife vibes as well. And then the gold ankle strap heels I have on are by Sarah Flint. Sarah Flint makes the most comfortable heels because they actually have padding in the arch area. So I can walk in these four inch heels like way longer than most of my four inch heels. I also love this beautiful champagne gold shade. They honestly go with everything. All right, trend number six. And this is one that Dolce is actually wearing. And if I were a dog, I would wear this trend. And that is bows. Like, look at her cute little bow collar with the rhinestones on it. I will definitely try and link one down below. But as far as me wearing bows, I will be skipping this trend. Why? Because I just feel uh, not like the best version of myself when I wear bows. I just don't feel like me, right? So I'm just gonna be skipping this trend. And instead of bows, I will be wearing the feather trend because I think feathers are beautiful. And when I wear this gorgeous white feather jacket, I feel confident and definitely feel glamorous and like the best version of myself. I've actually had this white feather jacket for like a couple of years now. And anytime I wanna get really dressed up, I'm going out in the evenings, whether that's to like a party or on a date or on a girl's night out, I find myself reaching for this beautiful white feather jacket a ton. It's also a great jacket to wear over like a beautiful evening dress if you have like a evening wedding to attend or something like that. I paired it with this amazing velvet v-neck bodysuit. This one is from Express, so it's like $50. And then how beautiful are these gorgeous silver pants, also from Express, very reasonably priced. I think ALC did some silver pants that were like $500. And these are well under $100, and they fit and feel like a pair of designer pants. Trust me, they're a high-waisted straight leg silhouette. So these pants are extremely flattering and definitely statement makers because of this gorgeous metallic shade. Okay, trend number seven that I will be skipping that I think a lot of you may like, and that is preppy layers. So you know, like the preppy tops, the collared shirts, the, you know, like Izod shirts, basically any shirt with a collar, maybe a collared shirt with a V-neck sweater layered over it. And although I think this look is very timeless, it's very classy, it's just not me. Anytime I put on a collared shirt, I literally wanna rip it off my body. I don't know why, I just don't feel good in it. It just doesn't feel like me. So again, pay attention to how you feel when you put on your clothes. When you get up every morning and you put something on, it's either gonna make you feel like a better version of yourself or a worse version of yourself. I will definitely be skipping the preppy trend this year. Let me know if you agree with me or if you love this trend, because again, I always love hearing from you guys. 
I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your kind comments. I did a divorce video last week. It's going crazy. It has like 70,000 views, over 700 comments. I'm so grateful that this video is reaching so many people. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video. It basically explains how I got out of a very toxic relationship. Um, forward it to your mom, your sister, your friends, anybody that you think may benefit from that video. I'm also going to be continuing to make videos like that on my channel because a big reason I started my channel was to help women just like you look and feel like better versions of themselves. And yes, getting dressed every day is a part of that, but there's also tons of other ways that we can either feel good about ourselves or feel bad about ourselves. So I'm really trying to share my story and my personal journey, basically sharing my experience, strength, and hope in hopes of helping anyone who needs to hear it. For more style information, you can head over to my blog, SoHeather.com, and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.